In Port Huron, a 15-hour standoff on Chestnut Street came to an end around 9 o'clock this morning. Police say a 23-year-old man fired a gun after a fight with his family. He then held a 16-year-old inside before police arrived. Police say he also fired several rounds at officers. CBS News Detroit's Luke Lester spoke with a neighbor who says he saw the whole thing. Residents in this Port Huron neighborhood say it was a long night after a 15-hour standoff between police and a gunman barricaded in this home behind me. One man who lives right across the street from the home that was impacted says he documented nearly the entire standoff on social media. BZO Sanders was streaming for hours. But they, they talk to him like they see him or something. Documenting what he saw to the thousands of viewers interested in the overnight standoff. So what's going to happen next? Is he going to pop out the crib? Is he in there? I'm like, I'm like, you know, if he was in there dead or anything, like, what's going on? Ooh, ooh. So we were just kind of waiting. Me and my viewers were just waiting to see what's going on next. The afternoon after the scene was secured and police say the man involved in the standoff is taken into custody, Sanders takes a look at the scene just outside of the window where he recorded it all go down. It did seem pretty surreal, like like a movie type of action. I'm like, that's why you couldn't really call it. Like You couldn't have no real emotion to it because you don't know. You never been in this type of situation. I never seen no real standoff in real life. Sanders says he didn't think he'd see the now over 40,000 viewers the video has since gathered, but is just fortunate nobody was seriously injured. I'm just as speechless as I was on the live, man. For real, like it's just it's crazy. I'm glad everybody cool, and I'm glad my house didn't get hit with no bullets or nothing like that. Now the home behind me here remains taped off at this time as cleanup crews and police continue their investigation. In Port Huron, Luke Laster, CBS News, Detroit.